All right, we're going to continue looking at uh, finding areas between curves, but this time we're going to look at horizontal slicing instead of vertical slicing. Sometimes this is the um, much better way to do things. What this says is suppose you've got, uh, you want the area between two curves, and notice these curves are given to us as x is a function of y, so you've got some curve on the right, then you've got another curve on the left, and you're going from c to d. And um, here. So if we wanted to find this area inside of here, let me let me color it in. What we're going to do is put the um, rectangles in, instead of um, instead of slicing this up vertically. You know, slicing it vertically would be kind of problematic because over here, this would uh, this rectangle has the top on the curve and bottom on the line. This has a top on the line and then the other line, and then this has a top on a curve and bottom on the line. So it's going to be better to slice this thing sideways. So when we do that, notice the thickness here is a tiny change in y. And the length of this curve from here to here, that's a change in x. Notice we've got the um, x is g of y on the left, and f of y on the right. So this length here is going to be, it's going to be f of y minus g of y. And so the area of that little rectangle is going to be um, f of y minus g of y times dy. So that's exactly what we're uh, integrating over there. So let's come down here and look at an example. Find the area bounded by y equals x plus 2 and y equals square root of x between uh, y equals 0 and y equals 3. All right, now, um, I actually need to put a little more of this graph on here. So this graph goes back to here. So we're looking between these two graphs and between 0 and 3. So y equals 3 is up here, and um, this goes further out over here. I didn't have the best graph drawn there. But this is what we're trying to find is this area inside of here. Excuse me. All right. So notice anywhere we draw a uh, horizontal rectangle on this, let me get my pen. Anywhere we draw a horizontal rectangle, it's got one end on uh, the parabola and one end on the line. So let's see, the right, the parabola is over here. But there's something else we've got to do first. Um, our thickness of this is dy. So what we've got to do is we've got to rewrite both of these parabolas as um, x is some function of y. Now on these, that's actually pretty easy to do. If y equals x plus 2, x is going to be y minus 2. And if y equals x uh, square root of x, x is y squared. Now let's see, which one's on the left and which one's on the right? Um, let's see, the left is the line, and the right is the parabola. And the thing to remember is you always do right minus left. So let's see, that means we've got y squared on the right minus y minus 2 on the left, dy. And our endpoints for this thing are from 0 to 3. So now I just need to work this integral out. I'm going to distribute that negative to begin with. And after I do that, let's see. We get uh, one third y cubed 
minus 1 half y squared plus 2y from 0 to 3. We'll plug the 3 in. Let's see, 3, three cubed is 27 over 3 is 9 minus 9 halves plus 6. So what is that? It's um, 9 halves. Well, let's see, 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. So that's 30 halves minus 9 halves is 21 over 2. All right. So notice on, on this problem, we did it uh, with respect to y. And a crucial thing is this up here. If you're doing stuff with respect to y, you got to have both of your curves in terms of y. Let's look at this example. Find the area enclosed by this parabola and this uh, line. All right, so on this one, they gave us the graph so we can look at it and see what the points are where the two curves uh, intersect. Right here, this is the point, let's see, 1, 1. This up here is the point 4, 4. All right, now if we didn't have the graph here, we'd want to uh, solve these two equations simultaneously to figure out where they intersect. So what we're doing here is we're finding the area inside of here. I'm going to draw in my rectangle. So let's see, right minus left. Uh, on the right is the line. On the left is the parabola. And I gotta be careful here. The line, that's y. And we're going from one to four. Now, this maybe isn't the best example of this because I've got to figure out what are my endpoints here. The way I get my endpoints, since we're doing this with respect to dy, we use the y-coordinate of the two endpoints. Um, the x and y-coordinates are the same here, but we, uh, we take the y-coordinate for this. So let's see, this is um, 1 to 4. Let's see, y minus negative 4y is 5y minus y squared, minus 4dy. Let's see, this gives me 5 halves y squared, minus 1 third y cubed, minus 4y, from 1 to 4. And i got to plug both of those numbers in there. Um, let's see, 5 halves of 16. Minus one third of 64. Minus four times four is 16. Minus, if we plug in the one, we just get five halves. Minus one third. Minus four. And I'm going to do this on my calculator. Let's see, five halves of 16. That's, um, well, I'm going to do some of it in my head. Uh, that's uh, eight times five, that's 40. Minus 64 over 3, minus 16. So this first bit is 8 thirds. And the second one, let's see, 5 halves minus 1 third minus 4. That's negative 11 over 6. So 8 over 3 plus 11 over 6 gives me 9 halves. Nine halves. All right, um, we'll stop here.